Team Junkyard Dog here today and we are doing a motor comparison today. That's right. If you're new to Combat Robotics or even if you're not, there's a new player in town called Repeat Robotics. They make a 16mm brushless and another 16mm planetary brush motor and they are competing directly with Fingertech. So the question may arise, what are the pros, what are the cons, how do they compare to size and weight and speed? to the finger techs, to the brush, to the brushless with repeat. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick motor comparison to help you decide which one is right for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here, go through some specs, details, look at the different motors. That way you can decide which one's best for you. So let's get into it. All right, so here you see the three different motors that we're talking about. Now, because I run the Silver Spark 22.2 to one, the 22 to one right here, this is the one that I'm going to be using in this comparison. Now, you do know Silver Spark makes several different ratios that will give you different speeds and torque. So, you know, you can look those up on Palm Beach Bot's website, and uh, he has a list of all those under these motors. So, you can see all the specs and details on Palm Beach Bot's for all these motors. And also, the link for Palm Beach Bot's is going to be in the description down below. I strongly encourage you that if you're buying robot parts, Go to the people who put on the events and put on the shows first. And then if they don't have what you need, go somewhere else if you have to. But try to support the people who support the sport. So we're using the Silver Spark right here. This is the 22 to 1, like I said. This is the repeat brushed. Now this is like the Mark 1 or Mark 2. It's an older version. They have improved it since this one, but it's still the same physical size. And this teeny little guy right here is their brushless planetary gearbox and these are all three 16 millimeter cans so all i'm going to do is i'm going to give you the specs of each one and then i'll talk a little bit about the weaknesses of each that i currently know of and that's limited to my experience you may have a different experience so we're going to start with the finger tech right here like i said this is a 22 to 1 the motor size is a 50 motor. It's actually a Mabuchi FK050. This is rated for 2 to 3S. It's an all metal spur gear, but it is non planetary. It has a 3 millimeter D shaft. It weighs about 29 grams. It uses an 11 millimeter face mount, meaning it's 11 millimeters between the bolt holes for mounting with the finger tech plate. The total length is 41.4 millimeters, and that's from the fr front face here to the back bump on the back of the can. On 2S, this is going to give you 529 RPM, and 3S is going to give you 794, but they also make a note that if you run this on 3S, you're shortening the life of the motor. So this is 2S or 3S only. Now, I'm assuming that these shafts may be hardened because they tend to snap before they bend but I don't know that it's not really stated from what I've seen. Now we're going to go to the repeat robotics. This is their brush version. Now this is a 30 can motor. It's a little bit shorter than the 50 can. This is rated from 2S to 4S. The gearbox is a 22.6 to 1 with a metal planetary. So this is a true planetary gear motor. It has a three millimeter D shaft. The new ones have a hardened shaft. The old ones like this had a regular steel, but the new ones do have a hardened steel shaft. Now this one weighs 27 grams, so it's going to be 2 grams lighter than the finger tech. And this one, like I said, is rated 2S to 4S. On 2S, this is going to give you 752 RPM. On 3S, it's going to give you 1,220 RPM. And on 4S, it's going to give you 1,504 RPM. So a pretty zippy little fellow for sure. Now we're going to talk about this little guy over here. And I'm going to have to measure because I didn't measure uh, beforehand. Well, let me measure this one too. I didn't measure this one. I don't know how long this one is. So from the face to the bump on the back. So this one is 36 millimeters long. So it's quite a bit shorter than this finger tech. And then this little brushless guy right here, he is only... 27 millimeters long so this most compact unit right here and I will go over pricing in just a minute because that's also going to be a factor in which one of these may be best for you so let's get into the specs and details of the new little brushless guy here now he is running a 1204 motor they have improved that on the mark 3 this is the brand new version 
It was like an 1104 motor, now it's a 1204 motor, and it is 3500 kV. This is rated for 2 to 4S. The gearbox is a 28.5 to 1, all metal planetary. It is a 3 millimeter D shaft. Now this guy weighs only 23 grams. So he is the lightest by far, because this one is 27 and this one is 29 grams. The mounting holes are a 10.5 face mount with an M2 screw. Now at 2S, this thing is going to run at 909 RPMs. And as a quick uh, recomparison, the Silver Spark on 3S is only 700. This is 700 on 3S. This is 900 plus on 2S. Now, if you put this on 3S, you're going to get 1,363 RPM. And if you put it on 4S, you're going to get 1,818 RPM. Very, very fast. And it does now have a hardened 4130 hardened steel shaft. A very nice, compact little motor right here for sure. Now, just kind of talking about my experience with these. I know the first versions of these had really, I'm going to say unreliable shafts. These shafts bent very easily and when you try to straighten them out they would snap. So it's a good thing that they've upgraded these now and they are running a hardened shaft. The finger techs, you guys know about these. If you, if you don't have three, you don't have any spares. I mean, they, they take one good hit and they tend to go out. Sometimes I've gone two fights or three fights with one, but there's other been time, there's been other times that I've gotten in a fight and I've lost both in one fight. So not the best for durability, but they are fast and they do have good torque. Now coming back to this brush one right here, I've never lost a gearbox on one of these. I've always lost the shaft and I haven't used the ones yet that have the hardened steel shaft. So I can't really speak as to how far they will last but i've had really good luck with these they have great pushing power and great speed and i love the fact that it's a true all metal planetary inside here now this one i have zero experience with this is for our brand new ant weight odious that we're going to be bringing to tallahassee i'm not sharing really many details with him until we actually go to tallahassee because he's going to kind of be a, a surprise bot but uh i will tell you that he's going to have four of these He's going to be four wheel drive with four brushless drives and I have great expectations for these. They're fast and torquey and that's exactly what I'm looking for. The only other thing that we really didn't talk about is price. Now the finger text here, if you go according to the uh, Palm Beach bot site, what he sells them for Andy over there is $18.69. The brushed repeat is $18.99. So basically identical, identical pricing. Me, honestly, if I'm going to be paying the same for these two, I'm choosing this one all day long. It's lighter. The gearbox is more durable. And I like the torque to like RPM or torque to speed that you get out of these right here. I have a little bit more confidence with these and that they're going to last. I've gone several events without losing one of these before and that's with the soft shaft. This guy right here, this is when you're ready to take it to a whole new level. These are basically $40 a piece. And that's a lot of money to throw into a single gearbox on an Antweight robot. If you become unsatisfied with these two, then you know you might want to step it up if you're making some kind of a pusher bot or something that you really need the control and the speed. This is a good option. If you can afford it, you're going to want to go with this one. If you can't afford it, but you don't want to spend this kind of money, I'm going to say pick this one right here. This is going to be your best uh, all-purpose ant weight gearbox motor combination and i'm not trying to you know say much bad about silver sparks right here but i have not had great luck with these i have used them for many years we, we started using these back in 2018 they're good motors they get the job done i like the fact that you have several different gear ratios to choose from but they don't take a hard hit very well so that's going to kind of wrap up this little specification comparison and just some of my experience that I've had with these different motors. And I hope that this is going to help you decide which one is best for you. Now, if you're just starting out in the sport, of course, you want to stay cheap. If you like it and you love it and you're sticking with it and you're trying to take it to the next level, that's probably when you'd move up to this guy right here. Okay, so this is going to wrap up our little motor comparison. I know it's not extremely in depth. We're junkyard dog. I'm not an engineer. I'm a redneck mechanic. So that's probably about the best comparison you're going to get from me unless I decide to do individual testing in an actual robot 
like just say like a pushing contest or something like that. So if you'd be interested in something like that, just let me know and maybe I can arrange that and put it together for you guys. But I just hope this helps out the beginners and people who don't have exposure to the repeat robotics yet to decide which motor is best for you and which one is best for your budget for combat robots. We're Team Junkyard Dog and we're out.